What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have an exciting unboxing from Meshnology. I'm a big fan of off-grid communications and Meshtastic and Meshnology makes these really awesome kits that are easy, accessible, and affordable. Today we're going to be unboxing the N39 and not just any N39 unboxing. This is going to be the Ghost Rats purple one. Yes, I convinced them to make some purple cases and they came out amazing. I'm going to show you how to build it, but first I'm going to unbox it. So stand by, I'll play a little bit of music and I'll check back in with you. Now, I built this thing a couple times. I would recommend starting with this antenna right here. So you're going to put it in, put the washer on, and then put the actual antenna on. Then I would move over to the GPS stuff. You're not gonna see it here, but I put the adhesive down. And I just stuck it down to keep it nice and organized. Now I would get the Helltech V4 and plug into the GPS stuff first because the wires are kind of short. It's just easier to work with because you're gonna need to take that antenna wire and connect it to the Helltech board as well. And there's a little gutter that you're going to be putting this wire in to keep it nice and organized. As you see here, I got the wire running along the little gutter there. And now it's time to put the button in. So those two holes right there, you're going to go ahead and put the button in, as you see here. Now it's time to secure the Heltag board. So you're going to find these little tiny screws here that are going to hold the board down. Once the screws are in place, it's time to connect the battery, connect it to the top part right there. Then you put the adhesive down, you put the adhesive on the back of the battery or on the case itself and just plop it in. And you're pretty much almost done. Now it's time to put all the screws in. To make this easy for you, I have a washer and a screw in the exact spot I need to screw it in. So you see here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six screws and washers I gotta go put in. And I'll show you how easy it is to actually put in. So those little square washers, you're gonna put right into those little cracks on the device. So this guy right here, these are the ones you put into those little square rectangle slots there. So put it in, then you put the screw in and it tightens up and you do that step six times. So you see here, point where you need to do it. And that's it, the device is built. So now let's put the latest version of Meshtastic on this thing. First thing you do is go to the Meshtastic web flasher. I'll leave the link in the description. You're gonna click on devices, you're gonna click on Helltech. And then you're gonna find the Helltech V4. So it's on the bottom, Helltech V4, click on that guy. And then you need to click on the firmware. I always recommend doing the stable one. It's not even gonna let you in this case do the beta, but just click on the most alpha stable version possible and then click flash. Scroll all the way down until you hit see uh, continue. Okay, once you hit continue, you're gonna see this screen right here. So you're gonna see an option for full erase and install. I recommend doing that if you're having trouble updating it but for now i'm just gonna hit the update button so the most important thing is how you plug it in so plug the device into the computer then hold down the boot button and then tap the reset button and that will get it into the flashing mode now you're going to connect the device so go ahead and click on the device that pops up then click on connect let the firmware install once it's done you can unplug it and if it doesn't turn on or reboot you can just hit the reset button it will turn itself on and then you can start with the configuration so for me, mine didn't turn on right away, so I just hit the reset button, wait a couple seconds, and then the screen is going to pop up with something. You're gonna hold down the top button, since it wants you to hit okay. Then you're going to select the region, so I'm US, so I gotta scroll down by hitting the button once, then holding it to select. Then once it does that, it's going to reboot, and then it should be ready to go. Now, if you wanna interact with it, you're gonna to need to set it up on your phone. Once you're on the Meshtastic app, you're gonna click on your new device, and you're gonna pair it for the first time. You'll see a number on the device. You're just gonna just copy the number from the device onto the app, and then hit pair. And since you already selected the region a second ago, it's ready to go. You can start messaging as soon as it connects. All right, and that's it for this video. So we unboxed it. We went over how cool the case looks, because it's purple. We built it together and then we flashed the firmware together and we showed you how to set it up in the app and we pretty much did everything. So what do you guys think about this device? I'm really excited for it. I love Meshnology. All my daily drivers when it comes to Meshtastic are currently Meshnology setups. I have the N37 currently. 
I'm also gonna be doing a build with that one live. But this N39 just looks really cool. It fits really nice in your hands. Again, the purple with the two-tone looks really great in both lighting settings, even with the black lights in this room and just the LED lights I have. Even in just regular white light, it looks great. Here's the even crazier thing. If you were to build this on your own, you're looking at over $60, and that's without a case. And Meshnology is putting all this together for you for under $50. And if you want to save even more money, they have a Black Friday deal starting from November 15th all the way up to December 5th. You can get 7% off orders over $100, uh, orders over $150, you can save 12%, and orders over $200 get 15% off. Thank you, Meshnology, for sending out these gadgets to me. I really do love this purple case. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. As always, do me a favor, and remember, safety is an illusion.